My name is Luis Natividad. I was born in uh, El Paso, Texas, 1942. Uh, you know, I started shining shoes when I was like 10 years old. I was in Tijuana, and then when I came to the United States, I, um, I used to work at the border, on the other side of the border, selling the San Diego Union. I worked from 7 to about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. I, I took the last bus, the Greyhound bus, to National City with my mom, because she worked at the Greyhound. Uh, cafeteria. We came back together and then I go to school in the morning at 7 o'clock. I haven't stopped working since then. I'm 59 years old, I'll be 60 pretty soon and I don't think I want to stop. My enjoyment was working in the community, dealing with issues in our community, that was what, that what kept me busy. And, um, and then when I got involved in activism, you know, I began to work with them to make things better for our community. I think that Probably working with Sister Chavez and the, and the uh, Great Boycott was part of the greatest things that we've done. It brought us together. It was, uh, it was an issue that we all, even though most of us are in different levels of um, in the community of uh, organizing, some of us have different philosophies, that issue, you know, unionized us and brought us together and we dealt with that issue. One of the first things that I was is, um, is called MAPA, which is a political association. Then we put the MAC project together in National City. I worked, I put together the first food bank in San Diego. I worked with, um, with uh, drug education. I worked with, um, with supervisors. You know, I put together um, some organizations that um, they're still ongoing. I worked in Chicano Park. You know, I was the director of Chicano Federation and uh, help developed. I believe that the people look at, they look at me as an elder. They look at me as a person who's been doing it for a little while. Therefore, it creates a certain uh, respect for you. That gives you um, the opportunity to be able to open doors with other groups. When I do something, I bring a lot of youth with me, the young people, to help me, to watch me, to learn, to learn from them, and then step back and let them run it. I, I like to work with youth because I like to inspire them. And, and I went through a lot of things since I was young and, and I see my face in theirs and I don't want them to go through the same thing that I did. And perhaps um, through me, they can change their life like somebody changed mine when I was younger. I think the youth have to look around and say, what do I want for myself? What do I want for my family? And what do I want for my community? And then they have to make up their minds how to, what is it they're going to do to make life better. And, you know, the community where you live, you can do anything. You don't have to be um, an activist. You don't have to be marching. You don't have to be boycotting. You can work for the blood bank. You can work for the boys club or the YMCA. There's millions of things that you can do. I say three things when I speak. Take care of your health, because if you're not healthy, you can, you're not going to do nothing. Take care of your family, because if you don't take care of your family, you can't take care of nobody else. Why would you be helping someone else if you can't help your family? And the third one is to help your community. Those are the three things that I always say.